What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat, and today in the world of indie games, we're going to check out Founder's Fortune. A little city building game that I think is going to be pretty fun. So if you're in the market for city builders, you can get this game for free right now from the developer's website. You can go on over there, you just like punch in your email address and bim bam bomb. You'll get the download link and also notifications whenever they push like a new hotfix or a new major patch. Let's start a new game. So the Founder's Fortune Experience, mixing base building with survival. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. So we've got select your starting colonist. We've got Tanja Mozart. Favorite food is apple strudel. This person is a killer. And so has positive thoughts from killing, usually can control herself. Eh, that might be that might be favorite food fruit salad optimist. This person's a craftsman, that sounds alright. Jens Koenig. Okay. And then we have Everhard Bach, who is an insomniac and is allergic to apples. That person is a forester? I don't know what's important to have at the beginning of this game. I suppose like a craftsman and like maybe a forester is probably a good idea. So she walks a little slower because she's got a limp and she's experienced in battle. Andrea Lehman? Yeah, it sounds good. Let's go. Let's do this thing. I don't want to spend the whole time like rim it up trying to munchkin out my little survivors. Alright, so here we are. We are in the world right now. It's a lot of UI. We got a... Can I? There we go. That goes away. Good. That's what I was hoping would happen. So that goes away. We've got like trees and stuff around here. Just a normal tree. Ain't nothing special about it. We've got some crystals. Okay. We've got like some rocks or something over there. What else do we have around here? We got like some plants. There's some cotton plants right there. All right. A little bit of iron ore on that side. Let's take a look around the UI and figure out what we're looking at. So we got a little bit of raw food right here. It's pretty sweet. We don't have any cooked food. We got some wood, so we can make things out of it. That's usually how that's applied. We got some stone, we've got some iron ore, some healing plants, an illness medicine, just in case. We got healing potions, just in case. Cotton, so basically things for like clothing and whatnot. We've got crystals, and we've got scrolls, and we've got coins. Over here we can swap people into combat mode. We've got seasons available at the moment. Apparently it is... probably spring right now would be my guess. They usually start you out in spring in games like this. We've got Andrea. Can I double click that? Okay, cool. So we've got like our little gnome guys around here. We've got like farms. We can't really do anything with those right now. For working, we've got a research book stand. So smart colonists can analyze crystals to generate research points. Once you've got enough research, you can actually get new buildings. All right. Military, we don't have anything. We've got a simple torch right there for lights. As far as seating goes, we don't really have a whole lot of options there either. As far as life goes, we've got some sleeping bags, which are pretty sweet. I'll probably use... All of my cotton on those. We've got bonfires that can be seen for miles. That will attract migrants and traders. Okay. We also have graves in case the unfortunate befalls anyone and they end up a corpse. As far as building goes, we've got walls. All right. We've got some floors over here that we can set up. How big are these? Oh, maybe we like... How does that work? Oh, I see. I see. All right. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, let's get started then. I mean, I, I see no reason not to. Is there any other stuff? So let's say that I take this guy right here. Can I command him to cut a tree? Yeah, go cut a tree. Go see if they do it. Oh, she does. She actually has a physical limp. That's pretty cool. I mean, not for her, but I mean, as far as immersion goes, it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and make like a little... Yeah, let's do that right there. We'll lay down some floors. We'll make like a little... We'll make a little shack out here. I don't know how long this is going to take. It doesn't look like they have to go to any stockpiles or anything else in order to get this stuff done. Uh, you need a bonfire in order to attract migrants. So I've got somebody on getting us some brand new tree wood over here. I don't know how long that's going to take or what the efficiency is looking like in that regard, but I'm hoping that they are able to work at a pace. Like, even if they don't have the job, I'm hoping they can still level up in that job, even if they are physically not that job. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Oh, we got 10 wood out of there. Nice. Okay, so that went pretty quickly. That didn't take that long. I thought maybe it was going to take a little while. Like we're going to do like a mill or something out here while we're trying to get wood. And frankly, like getting wood shouldn't be this difficult. It should just be like a natural thing that happens. You know what I mean? So like if we're having any major dysfunctions on the wood front, perhaps we need to like adjust our expectations appropriately. And we'll put in like, yeah, put that in right there. Put that in right there. Do we have any doorways or anything that we can do? Yeah, there we go. We got like a little doorway right there. That sounds pretty cool. I guess you have to have the walls pre-installed before you can do the doorway. So we'll knock that out real fast. And then we'll just put a door in right there. 
As far as roofs go, I assume this place naturally gets a roof on its own? Perhaps when it realizes that the floor and the walls have been put in? But honestly, I don't- is she kicking a stump right now? Why are you kicking a stump? You've got a limp, your leg is all busted up. That's not gonna make things better. She's like, don't worry about it, I'm using my good leg. Ain't nothing to worry about, you mind your business. Okay. I will mind my business. You do what you gotta do over there. I am not in the business of judging your work habits. I am in the business of just appraising and making sure things are getting done at a reasonable pace. I don't think I need the help menu. This seems pretty straightforward. They've done a good job with the UI so that you can just like quickly visually identify what you need to do in order to get going. A bonfire would be cool and everything. Like maybe I'll put the bonfire... What's down here? So we've got kind of like a kind of wiener looking peninsula over there. Maybe I'll put the bonfire like there. Yeah, just drop the bonfire right there. It gets done when it gets done, my friends. And then we also have sleeping bags over here. I'll probably put in like one or two of those. Just to make sure they get done. Even if the house doesn't get finished off today, I'd like them to have a place to sleep. So that like, I had a feeling they were going to get tired soon. So there we go. Do we have like a status thing right here? Oh yeah, we could take a look at their stamina. They've got hunger. They've got mood. Do we get like a breakdown of any of this stuff? So this person, get a basket for raw food in the colony. Is that just like a thing that I can build? Oh, a raw food basket right there. Yeah. Does that need to be indoor or outdoor, I wonder? I don't know. Make two of them. Apparently baskets are made out of wood. I've learned a new thing today. And we will continue trucking on forward. This person is now the slightest bit grumpier. Resting in bed, next level. So happiness expectations, owns a sleeping spot, wants food. Probably unhappy because they're hungry would be my guess. So there's the food basket right there. We've managed to get that all nice and done. Now that you guys are done with the house, uh, go gather me some, some wood. Yeah, cut the tree. And you cut the tree. Let's get some more wood together so that like we can start living a little bit more lavish. I'm not crazy interested in being low on wood right now because it seems like just about everything we need... There you go. Refill that hunger right there. I'm proud of you. We've got 36 food left for right now. We're just dining on apples and a little bit of carrots and whatever we can get our hands on for the time being. Does it say how much wood is left inside the tree? It'd be cool if it had like a little meter or something. I guess we're de-stumping right now though, so that's okay. Oh, we've got apple trees over there too, so we could actually physically gather food if we really want to. Maybe if I get a few more people, we'll go in and we'll try to figure out... So like, what happiness needs do you need? So you've got not relevant yet, owns a sleeping spot, expects a better home. So a shelf for food. I don't think we have that yet. You guys are out here relaxing. But I would very much like for you to gather some crystal, please. I don't know what it's pointing at right now. Oh, it wants me to give them ownership. Gotcha. Okay. So we can just give that to Andrea then. There we go. Expectations fulfilled. And they get a little bit happier and things get a little bit brighter on their mood list. Uh, they want to have a big payday of at least five coins. And then this person wants to defeat a Tiki Goblin. I don't see any Tiki Goblins around. You guys see any Tiki Goblins around? I don't see no Tiki Goblins around. Now we do have crystals though. So give jobs to automate some tasks. So a farmer will assign, so what is she? She is a, we'll put this back on normal speed for a second while I take a look at what they are. So her information, I don't really want you in combat mode. That's not really necessary. So wish fulfilled and new colony, what do you do? So has no job. Maybe I'll make her a miner then. That sounds good. Uh, we need to research a book stand. I think I already have that, didn't I? Uh, we have... Oh, okay, so we can... All right. So let's take that. We'll put that inside the house over here. Seems like a good place to have that. Mm -hmm. And then, Jens, you can kind of just like... Yeah, construct that over there. Uh, you can jump off the crystals for a minute. I think we've probably got a few of those. She's been assigned to mining. Where can I take a look at their specialties right there? It's just that right there. Oh, and there's all kinds of jobs. So she was a forester, and he's a constructor, correct? Yeah, craftsman and a constructor. All right, so he should automatically build stuff. Migrants have arrived in a small boat. Send a colonist to accept them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, since you're done, go talk to that person. Yeah, go accept this guy. I don't know who he is, but we could always use more manpower here in the village, so let's be friendly. So a colonist has joined. We now have Archibald. So Archibald, who are you? What do you do? 
What's your job? You got no job. Okay, so what I would like for you to be then is a farmer. Uh, tend to the fields, gather cotton, harvest apples, do your thing, man. And then your expectations are needs to sleep inside and needs a sleeping spot. So that encourages me, I think, to maybe think about building another house over here and maybe gathering some cotton. So let's go with like a little 5x5 five five right there. We'll slap some walls on it too. Perfect. And now that that's done, we're going to need a door over here. And we'll have that open up probably on the same side so that everything's nice and uniform. I don't have any of the stuff that I need in order to make that right there. So we're going to need some more cotton. Uh, you, sir, get thy lazy ass up and come over here and gather some cotton for me, would you, brother? Go gather some cotton for me out there. We're building you a house. We're doing all this for free. I just need you to be down with the struggle for the moment. I get the feeling his mood is probably not going to be the best. Oh, cool. We get three cotton from each of those? Oh, nice. Yeah, gather all the cotton you could possibly stuff inside your greedy little pockets, bro. Also, apparently sleep on the ground and become grumpy. Uh, they'll start being defiant and not following orders. That's okay. We'll get him patched up pretty soon with the things he needs in order to be like a part of our city, i.e. a bed spot in a room. So we need to select our research. All right. Uh, is this the research? That's the colony settings right there. Maybe I do it by clicking on this itself. Or maybe it's that button right there. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get farming. Farming sounds good. Like, I don't know if anybody's going to actively do that, like, all by their lonesome, but hopefully they'll jump on it soon. I'm going to try and gather as much crystal as I can while I'm out and about. Oh, he's getting us more cotton, too. Very nice, man. Very, very nice. You grabbed all the apples from the trees, which gave us enough food to last a little while. His mood is a little salty right now. He's a little bit extra salted, which I'm not happy about, but maybe... Maybe that'll get patched up. Maybe they get patched up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to reassign you to a new job, please. I'm going to change your job. Go be a forester. Can use metal axes to cut wood. Or or you can just go kick them down, huh? Huh? Maybe you can just go kick them down with that lame leg of yours? I'm just saying. If you don't have a solution to a problem, think outside the box. You might be able to reason your way through it. Good. So that house is done. That means the next thing we need is a little bit of a bed over here, so we'll get that all ready to go. Our constructor will hopefully get that mashed out. He's doing all right. Let's go ahead and we're going to give this to Archibald Underberg. So Archibald Underberg, we've given you the thing that you want. You sleep inside, you've got your thing, wishes need to be fulfilled. He's got food, he's got all that kind of stuff. He needs a big payday of at least five coins. Well, unfortunately for you, my amigo, I have no jobs to really assign to you right now. Yeah, relax away, man. I assume that relaxing probably raises something. Maybe your mood? Maybe not your mood? I don't know. But everybody kind of has their stuff all taken care of. And what we could do is we could analyze crystals at the book stand. I think that it's probably a good idea to have Jens go over and analyze crystals. How's that working out for us? I don't know exactly how long this is going to take. Oh, cool, he's got like a little meter over his head. I very much like the UI of this game. It's a little bit large when it pops up, but at the same time, it makes all the information you need readily available for any of the things that you're trying to do just by like looking at what it is. It's just easy peasy. A payment in coins per day. We don't have any coins right now, so unfortunately, that one ain't gonna benefit you much. You, sir, cut some trees for me, please. Cut some trieses for me. I'd appreciate it. Uh, I'll probably change you over to a scholar. Research is 20% faster after another level up. Okay. I can live with that. He only gets one XP per scholarly thing that he does in our little village, but... I mean, we're almost there. We It'd probably help if we had somebody that was like a dedicated person for all this, but we don't, so... We'll work on it when we get there. There's no reason to rush ourselves. I don't see any... Oh, there's goblins over here. Are those the tiki goblins? I think they are. Okay, so we're probably going to have to figure out how to kill these dudes. But for now, let's just stay safe inside of our domicile. Farming has been unlocked. That's good, because I have a farmer, and we have not done any farming. So we can have soil for tomatoes to get a stable food supply from spring to summer. We can also have soil for potatoes. We also have a campfire, where apparently we can cook simple meals over there. Oh, yeah, let's set up a little garden over here. I don't have a problem with that. 
I don't know how hard it is to set up a garden, but... That looks good to me. It doesn't cost me anything to do that, and we're in the proper season for it. So let's get some tomatoes going. I hate tomatoes more than life itself. I can't stand tomatoes. But if you enjoy tomatoes, my colony's got you covered. My colony has you covered. Uh, go here, and then, like, you can be off wood supplying right now. Just, like, do whatever it is you're gonna do. Like, you are a farmer, after all, so I assume you'll just jump into this. Uh, Andrea, let's go ahead and change you back over to a miner for a moment. And we will have you farm out some stone when it becomes necessary. Oh, it's a construction job. That's why he wasn't doing it by default, even though he was a farmer. Okay. Archibald is dumb and cannot gain XP in any job. Ah, perfect! We've got, like, a remedial person already. We've got somebody that's, uh, you know, not going to be largely helpful in, I think, a lot of these situations. Well, damn. As much as I would like to have some, I think they still get XP even when they're doing the job improvised style, I think. This is just setting up, I think, the profile for what they should be working on if it's available to do inside of town. What kind of research do we have left? Uh, we got woodworking over here. That's probably a good thing to take on. Take on research. Take on research. All right. Now let's put you over here on the scholarly job, please. Go analyze some crystal for me, would you? I've heard that our crystal is of the highest purity when compared to that of our of that, that of our enemies. The, ca the cartels out there that are trying to sneak in on what it is we have and what we do. He can tend to fields. He can go out here and he can grab some goodies. Now, we have a lot of cotton laying around. It's a little bit dangerous out here, though. I wonder how long it takes the apples to come back. We've got another gnarly little village down there, too. Maybe I'll wait until food is a little bit more severely impeded before I send them back out on difficult adventures. We got five research going right there. I think we can probably just fast forward. A bug infestation. They've come down on the fields and are destroying the harvest. We need to cut them before the infection spreads. Okay. How do I cut the plants? Maybe just like that right there. The bug infestation is over. So yeah, apparently that took care of, that took care of business for us. All right, well, replant that guy. And replant that doodly right there as soon as you're done. They'll grow a little bit later than the rest of the ones in the season, but that's okay. Sometimes the late bloomers are the best. Over there, please. I, I wish that you could build underneath the feet of some of your people. I would appreciate that, but that's just a minor observation for right now. There we go. This game is in, like, super early access right now, so really I'm not going to be doing too much complaining or critiquing because it doesn't seem necessary. The game is not widely available. It's not being charged for or anything else like that. I'll give observations along the way, but, like, so far so good. Now we've got food from the campfire on a shelf right there. Yeah, maybe we'll make one of these over here. We'll use this as the communal larder in here, I guess. So we've completed another research, and he's gone back to mining. That's good. I'm hoping these will get out of the way eventually. It's my biggest hope. We can get weaponry. A trader has arrived, so he's made landfall, and we can send a colonist to haggle for good deals. I don't know if I have anything really to sell, but i yeah, go talk with him. We'll trade with that guy. See if he's got any. He's got a fancy hat, so you know that his wares have got to be on point. Alright, so we can sell to the trader. We've got wood. We've got medicine. We've got healing potions. It doesn't look like he really wants much else. Yeah, I was hoping I could sell him some crystal, maybe, but... We can go ahead and we can sell, like, 25 of those. Sounds good. That got us 25 coins. That should allow us, I think, to... I don't know, maybe do something for their payment. We sold off a little bit of our wood supply, but the good news about that is that we've got forests all over the place over here, and I don't think it's going to be a major concern. Yep. As soon as we get up to... Yeah, you come over here, please. Yeah. And just chop wood for the rest of the day. Do that for me, would you? Do that for me. And as far as research goes, we could dedicate somebody to doing... We've got gardening, we could do hedges and plant pots, and we could do a bookshelf and a research scroll stand. We could do weaponry, which I think is probably 
the smartest thing to work on. Like, we kind of need to be in a position where we can protect ourselves from the enemy. And I think giving everybody a weapon so that while they're working on their plowshares, they still have something they can whip out on the enemy if things go a little bit hayward and they go a little bit sideways, I think is a really good plan. Uh, guys, for now, I feel like we have enough crystal. So maybe go mine some stone for a little bit, unless there's one closer. Go mine that stone right there. And you maybe go cut trees. I'd like to have a stockpile of maybe like 150 wood or so. I think that'll make our lives a little easier. Archibald has hurt his arm. Yep. So what does that mean? So hurt arm, slow working. Okay, splints will help it heal more quickly, but it looks like that's going to be for like an hour, actually. Oh, wow. That's a significant... Okay. So in this game, like injury and stuff like that is going to be an important thing that you need to take care of like right now. Uh, we don't have a medic or anything else like that. So maybe resting will help out with that a little bit quicker, possibly? Yeah, maybe that'll give him, like, a little bonus, but... It seems like it might actually be wiser. Well, I mean, we'll just have to wait it out. He's not going to be done with this. If I do a second episode of this, he's not going to be done healing from that until then. So he's an optimist, he's tireless, and he's dumb. Okay, well, I mean, you know... If you're dumb, you don't know any better, so I can agree with that. I can, you know, hmm. Sometimes I wish I was super dumb so that I could just be happy all the time. Maybe notice the things that suck a little bit less. Because I am a natural pessimist. I do have that problem in my life. I've been trying to get over it and work my way past it so that I'm no longer that guy. But it happens to the best of us. Sometimes you're a little bit negative, you know? It happens to the best of us. You come mine some stone, please. Oh, never mind. He's doing... So he does his main job first, and then later on... Oh, it's the first day of spring. Oh, the last day of spring. Okay, I'm hoping these grow pretty soon. I don't know exactly how these are going to play out or how long they're going to take. We don't have, like, a maturity meter or anything else that's being made, like, apparent to us. But at least the trees regrew one last time before the season was over. No, analyze the crystal. We have plenty of crystals. I definitely don't want you to go back to mining, please. Yeah. Oh, and she's back on mining stone. I mean, we do need stone, so, like, I'm not that bent out of shape about it. We need 20 of it so that we can make the campfire, so that we can actively, like, press in and cook our food. And it actually looks like the harvest happens pretty quickly in this game. That was only, like, two or three days before the harvest came in. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll take it. That's fantastic. Absolutely great. Keep working on stone down there. That's getting you a big old fat grip of XP. Can you stone pick access to mine? I don't think we have access to that yet, but maybe someday we will. Well, we have enough wood going around right now where I don't feel that bad about it. I do wish we had a stockpile, so we had like a kind of a visual representation of how many things we have stored up. We got pillars. I don't know what we would use pillars for. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe it's just for indoor decoration, possibly? I don't know. Ah, we've unlocked weaponry. I would like to see... So since weaponry is unlocked, how can we go in and get that? So it's probably in the military menu. So we've got a bow makers thing over here. We've got lights, seatings, decorations, storage. So we've got tool racks. We've got weapon racks. All right. It's probably a good thing to have. Now, where are the swords at, though? Ah, Toolmaker's Workshop. Okay. You can probably line that up outside over here. Oh, it needs to be placed in a finished room. All right, well, we can do it right there. I mean, that's no biggie. They're not exactly cramped over here. Like, they're not living, like, a spacious life, but it's a log cabin, you know? Like, they'll be okay. Yeah, I'm going to need you to... Oh, maybe those aren't grown yet. Maybe they're just, like, part of the way there. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will grab them when they're done. Oh, mining crystals actually gives him scholar upgrades. Okay. I can live with that. Yep. I thought it was probably going to be linked to mining, and so I guess I was off in my observation there. Uh, did that bench get done over there? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Toolmaker's workbench. Maybe make like a wooden sword or two, possibly. I can sell those to whoever comes by, make a little bit of money. Might not be a bad plan. Oh, the tomatoes did come in. 
Oh, so you've got to have like bigger fields. We didn't get that many tomatoes off of that. Okay. So with farming, like we've actually got to do this. Yeah, we've actually got to have like a, a full harvest out here. All right. Well, that's cool. I don't mind. It is now summer and we need to select some research. That's okay. I'm going to let him do his farming job for right now. I don't know if I need you to be... Yeah, go ahead and chop trees for a little bit, please. Move yourself around slightly. How much wood have we brought in? 24 stone? Good. That means we can make the campfire. Let's make a campfire. I kind of like the slow pace at which this game unfolds. Uh, we can do like a cooking fire right there. That looks great to me. We are going to need some more wood before this gets better, but I think it's a good idea if we have wood chopping axes... And also, yeah, make like a wood chopping axe and maybe make like a like a pickaxe possibly. Might not be a bad idea. I don't know who's going to craft these things. More than likely him once he's done with the planting season. I, I think the planting season is probably going to take him the rest of the day though before it gets any better. Everybody's mood is really high though, which I'm pleased for. So my name is Splattercat. This game is called Founder's Fortune. I hope you guys like what you saw so far. I am intrigued and excited about continuing this one forward. Maybe I'll record another episode after this one. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And then also hit me up with some of those likes if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out as a content creator a whole bunch. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, and take care, everybody. It's been a blast.